Welcome to Always Alyssa. So, you might notice I have wet hair, and that's because I was just out swimming. For today's video, I'm gonna be checking out this Creative Cafe Frappe Maker. Inside the box, there's three flavor mixes, a cup, a lid, a straw, and a spoon that can attach. The three mixes are mango, green apple, and strawberry. I'm excited for green apple. It also comes with this cup, but you have to freeze it for 12 hours before you use it. Look at the frost on the outside. The first step is to pour milk onto the fill line, which is pretty thick, you can see it. Or you could use a substitute for milk. Next, I get to pick what flavor I wanna use. I think I might wanna go with green apple first. Actually, strawberry first. Even though she did say she was most excited about green apple. That's true, best for last. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it smells like a strawberry milkshake or ice cream. It smells so good. Okay, I bet it'll taste good too. So next up, I'm gonna use this spoon and get two heaping spoonfuls, it says, into the milk. One, ooh, it's dissolving. Oh, bye. <laughs> says to mix until there are no more clumps, which it might take a minute. As I start to mix, I should start to see little ice crystals forming. Oh look, there's one. It says to keep mixing for about five minutes until it's a slushy consistency. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> it's getting a little bit better. A little more like a smoothie. It's actually working. Whoa! It's like a slushy. It's not quite done yet. Ooh, it's a lot thicker than Almost done. It's gonna be so good. Oh my gosh, this is like really thick. Look at this. It totally worked. <gasps> wow, this Ooh, is so good. That cool. looks good. I wonder if you could put your own flavor in, hmm. as long as you do milk. That would be cool. With the cup, and make your own stuff. Oh, that would be cool. We could make okay. mint or something. <laughs> what flavor do you want to put on top? Hmm, probably apple. I'm starting green apple so I can add it on top of my strawberry. It's getting there. Okay, I just put the lid on. I'm gonna add the straw. It's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It tastes like a milkshake. Mm. <laughs> it's so good though. Definitely worth trying it again. Oh yeah, totally. Should we do the mango? Oh yes. It's so cute and perfect. <laughs> You want to put your straw on the tree? How does it compare? Sour, very good. I like it. It like it. better. Let's see. Green is better. Is it? Yeah. Okay, I tried it and I mm. think pink is better. Really? Yes. It's but so I'm good. Like sour apple. I don't know. Now it looks like it's all mixing together. I bet that's good too. <laughs> okay, let's make mango. All right. Mango looks good, huh? Update on the mango. Looking pretty good. Oh wow, that's really good consistency. It's even thicker than we thought it was gonna be. <laughs> oh, looks like it's almost about done, huh? Yeah. When you're stirring, it kind of helps to like scrape like, like that, especially the bottom, because it's more frozen down there. So scrape along the edges and the yeah. sides. I'm pretty sure you could even do this with any insulated cup and it would probably work. I'm thinking after this, I'm gonna experiment using chocolate powder. I finished the orange, now I'm making another pink one. I'm thinking about making a rainbow frappe this time. 
so my pink is ready to add in. <sighs> smells so good. <laughs> now I'm gonna add the mango. Whoa, that is, that turned out like really good. Yeah, it's really thick, huh? And at the bottom, it's like more cold, so it's way thicker. Whoa. It's like hard to scoop out. <laughs> We're becoming professional frappe makers. I know. That was a close one. It almost fell on my pants. Is it good? It's really good. So here's what I have so far. It looks so cute and adorable. I love it. I want to eat it, but I can't. We're going to make green next, so I'll set this to the side. And then after, we're going to experiment with chocolate. I'm working on layer three for the frappe, and I'm so excited to see how it turns out. It's getting a little more icy. So excited to try it again. I think it's about time to pour in my frappe. Let's hope it doesn't spill. So satisfying. <laughs> Look at this. This looks pretty good, doesn't it? I oh think that gosh. looks amazing. It looks so cool. Definitely our best of the ones we've done. Okay, I'm gonna take this off because I can't fit it. It is so cute. It's so adorable. It's like so perfect and cute. Oops. Look at the mm. straw. Ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> now I'm working on the chocolate one. To make this, I used whole milk and Hershey syrup. I didn't know if it was gonna freeze like the other ones, but it's actually starting to work. So I'm ready to pour this one, and I'm gonna get creative. In the cup, I'm gonna take the Hershey syrup and do this, and when you pour it in, it looks really cool. So I'm gonna see if it actually works. Oh, Hershey syrup. Okay, let's hurry and pour this in. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. Okay, I'm gonna spin it around for you guys so you can see how it looks. If we had two of these full, then we would've filled all the way up. Oh my gosh, that would've been awesome. Yes. Okay, I think I'm gonna try it. A little bit of Hershey syrup. Mmm, it is so good. I think it worked pretty good. If you guys try to do this at home, definitely do the chocolate one. It is so good. And even though this one looks like green hummus, it still tastes pretty good too. Mmm. Thanks so much for watching me make DIY frappes. Oh, don't forget to leave me a giant thumbs up for chocolate. Bye, see you next time.